So there's a really interesting upside of virtual teams that you may notice if you're paying attention, and that is, think about when you hold meetings in a physical office, right, when you're all in a meeting room together, there tends to be a hierarchy of communication. And by that, I mean, you have the confident vocal people who are always going to try and dominate. You have the people who are more hierarchically oriented, and they won't speak if maybe their manager makes a point, they won't contradict it or, or offer anything. Uh, but then you have the quiet ones who don't offer much anyway, because they're self-conscious and they're kind of intimidated. Okay, when you start to have virtual collaboration, there are some interesting things that happen over time. It can become a great equalizer if you handle it properly. So your job now is to draw out and bring everybody into the meeting and make sure that they're contributing. And what you're going to find over time is the very vocal ones actually start to self-police a little bit. Uh, the ones who maybe defer to, to rank a lot feel a little bit more comfortable engaging, even if their team leader is saying something or whatever. And the quiet ones actually feel a lot more confident to interject because now there's a certain comfort or barrier because they're they're remote now or they're virtual that they're not as self-conscious so you actually can get a much much higher level of collaboration so your job is to really harness this dynamic now and make your virtual meetings and your virtual collaboration sessions so much more equal and uh, dynamic democratic if you like and that way you're getting the most out of everybody and everybody's contributing so you should really watch out for that and make sure you can harness that and you're going to find that some of the people who in the past maybe not have contributed that much turn out to be phenomenal collaborators.